Hello everyone! So today I will be showing how to make this winter night scene. Um, so for your materials, I only use three colors. So I have white, black, and blue. With this painting, you could also use purple, but I decided on blue. Um, and then after that, you will need a brush. I only use one brush, so you only really need one brush for this piece. Um, it's kind of flat and round, as you can see. And then something to pour your paint in. This is my paint palette. Um, and then a cup to hold your water. Um, to begin, we will coat our brush with some white and making sure that it's completely covered. We will start going in a circle motion. Um, so we will paint a circle, a white circle on kind of the top corner. And this will be the moon for the piece. So here I am completing it. Um, and then after that, I will put some blue right on top of my paintbrush. Um, there's no need to clean the paintbrush, just right on top. And this kind of helps with uh, blending into a baby blue around the moon. So here we are going in circles, kind of a stroke pattern. Um, the best way to blend is to make sure that you have paint on your brush and then paint on the canvas. So you want wet paint on wet paint. And that is what makes kind of blending and doing ombre so much easier. Um, because with a dry brush, it's not, it gets too difficult and so it's a lot of back and forth motion. Um, so if you find yourself kind of struggling, just add a bit of water and then resume with your strokes and it should work. Um, so after this initial circle I have, I will dip my brush back into some blue paint and kind of just repeat this motion moving outwards from the white circle to the edge of my canvas. So here we are um, with more blue. I kind of make sure that my strokes are in a circular motion. This kind of just helps keep the piece a bit more cohesive and it's just a fun texture to see. Um, so more blue around the edge and you can see it's getting darker um, here we have the shadows so I have a teeny bit of black um, that I put right on top of my brush and here I am going into that motion again um, my brush was a bit dry right here um, so I had to kind of dip it back into the black um, another way you could probably do this is you can pre-mix a paint, so um, have a black-blue paint, which is just adding a bit of black into the blue paint, and I kind of did this towards the end so that it's a bit more darker. And here I am kind of just repeating what I did before. So I am using acrylic paint, and what I really like about acrylic paint is that you can layer it up on top of each other and it can either cover up whatever you have on the bottom or it can just make it more opaque um, which is kind of a fancy word of just saying more brighter and darker um, so i am repeating my motions um, going with the white first um, every time you are using white just make sure that your paintbrush is completely clean so that there is no um, previous color on it that kind of messes with the bright white um, and then I continue just adding blue on my brush and just going out from there um, so with this you kind of just want to keep moving outwards and try not your best to go inwards um, especially around the white because you want to make sure that your moon is completely white um, and here I am with the shadows again. I added a bit more black and you can always add more blue um, to just kind of make sure it's blended nicely. Um, then after that, we are going to start on the ground. So I have black on my brush and I kind of do just a simple ground shape. Um, so with this piece, I decided on having kind of three hill bumps but you can have as many as you want or as little as you want. And I kind of 
uh, jiggle my brush a bit so that it's kind of bumpy and not too flat or too curved um, just to give it some more rough texture um, and then after I have kind of the top portion that I know that I want to fill out um, I just completely fill the bottom with some black and this is kind of like about a quarter of the painting um, that's gonna be your ground and then after that when I finish I make sure that the black is completely dry because I do not want to mix the white with the black um, so here I am adding white to kind of the top portion and um, I kind of give it some 3d effects um, so the middle middle bump is kind of a bit seems a bit more forward um, here I'm kind of just darkening it up all up so more blending white on top and then kind of feathering it out at the bottom and now we will start on the trees so with your trees you will want uh, black on your paintbrush and you will want to make sure that it's kind of nicely coated um, and kind of thin out the tip of the brush because you want to have it vertical and when you're painting vertical you kind of want like thin uh, lines but that's kind of just how I wanted my trees to be a bit more thinner um, but you can make them thick or any other shape you want um, so this is me kind of doing the tree trunks um, I like making sure that they're kind of layered differently so some are a bit closer to me and then some are a bit farther away into the mountains um, and so for my trees I decided on kind of a pine tree so I chose kind of the Christmas tree shape so it's gonna be thinner uh, smaller at the top and then a bit larger as we go down and for the leaves um, once again nicely coated uh, kind of make sure the tip is a bit thin and I'm gonna do a swooping motion on both sides so starting from the top and then kind of just swooping a bit down and that's kind of what I do with the rest of the trees continue with that swoop um, yeah it's okay if you mess up um, on my last tree I kind of messed up but it's okay um, and now make sure your brush is clean because we are going in with the white and the white is going to be kind of our snow on top of the trees um, so I made a tiny mistake um, my brush was a bit too wet so the paint was kind of very uh, thin and it kind of was like everywhere and so I tried to kind of add more paint onto it because um, I wanted thinner lines um, but I kind of just went back in and you can see it's a bit more thinner so I kind of just also repeat the bottom motion of what I did before with the white so swooping and then little V's in the middle make it a little bit more 3D um, so since this is snow, I tried my best to kind of put the white on top of the leaves that I already had, but you know, I can't really copy exactly what I did before. So as long as you kind of do the sweeping motion and you can see a bit of the black underneath, the tree is going to turn out pretty cool. Um, so yeah, more swoopings and then more V's. And I'm just gonna do this for the rest of them um, so I'm gonna go back on top with a bit more white once it's a bit more dry because I just wanted to be a bit brighter as you can see it's kind of a bit gray um, but I kind of just put the white every other kind of leaf because I think it's very cool seeing kind of the black and then the gray and then the white because it gives it just more uh, dimension or in more 3d and then I added a bit of highlight on the tree trunks and so now I'm gonna do a little bit of shadowing so I took a uh, very watered black and I'm just slightly dabbing at the tree trunks so that it kind of has more dimension uh, more 3d 
and then I'm using my finger to dab it. Uh, I think using uh, fingers to do painting is kind of pretty, pretty easy, pretty convenient. Uh, you can always, if you don't really like getting your hands dirty, you can use a paper towel or another brush. But I just think using your fingers to paint is more easy. Um, and then I'm doing a little shadow and that is basically it. So that is your winter scene. <laughs>